السلام عليكم let's learn how to install and configure Grafana in order to visualize the metrics that were scraped by Prometheus server installed in a Kubernetes cluster the objective here is to create a dashboard where we can view the CPU the RAM the uh, network utilization from our applications from the nodes and from the uh, pods themselves this video is a part of a full series of videos where we have started by creating a sample application we have enabled prometheus metrics and that app then we have deployed the application into kubernetes we have installed prometheus and we started uh, viewing those uh, metrics then in this video the goal is to add uh, Grafana dashboards to visualize those uh, metrics. So what we have done before this is that we have started with the sample application source code. So here we have a sample ASP.NET Core application. We have installed the Prometheus uh, NuGet package. And from here we enabled uh, Prometheus metrics on the uh, endpoint slash metrics. We have also created a custom metric we call it that uh, my counter it's of type uh, counter this will count the number of uh, views for my index page in my ASP.NET uh, core MVC application after that we have added the docker file in order to dockerize this application and then to deploy this app into a kubernetes cluster so we have deployed uh, the uh, the container and we have also created a service that will point to that uh, container or that pod after that so uh, the code source the source code for this app is available on github you can find that in this repo right here and then so we have the um, container is available on docker hub and we have deployed that container into um, kubernetes cluster hosted on azure using the aks service which is the azure kubernetes uh, service but of course you can do this same demo using minikube or uh, any other cloud uh, provider from here we can see the dashboard for my uh, kubernetes cluster where i can see the uh, application that i have uh, deployed along with the uh, service that points to that application if i open the app which is available now publicly from here i can see my sample ispnet core application and if i go to slash metrics from here i'll be able to see the default metrics as that were um, exposed by the prometheus nuget package inside my application in addition to that i can see my custom uh, metric that i have created which is called my counter and the number here is 87 this is the number of the counts for my index page or the number of views for my page in another video i have also showed how to install prometheus and configure it in order to scrape those metrics from our application and from here we have um, prometheus dashboard where we can see the list of the metrics available right here and we can also see our custom uh, counter which is called my counter today we want to add grafana in order to be able to view those different metrics so the way to do that this is uh, we'll choose actually the uh, we'll, we'll choose to install grafana on kubernetes using helm charts because helm charts makes it really uh, easier and co really configurable and extensible in order to um, install applications in the cluster so make sure you have helm installed on your machine and then we'll use the uh, helm installer for grafana which is uh, which its source code is available on uh, uh, on github so if you go here to helm slash charts slash, slash grafana you'll be able to see here the different uh, templates along with the uh, configuration for how to install the grafana helm chart using the helm uh, cli tool and then here we have the different options available for configuring this chart so we can configure things like the uh, service um the service type for example so in order, if you want to expose your grafana dashboards publicly on the internet you can choose a load balancer for example instead of a cluster uh, ip 
we have lots of uh, lots of uh, other options that you can configure for enabling uh, airbag for enabling the persistence if you want to and so on let's get started and let's uh, start deploying the uh, first grafana uh, deployment to do that i'll go up here on this page and then i'll use this uh, line of code where here it shows us how to install a um, helm chart for grafana so I'll paste that line of code right here. So it's helm install the name of my release. Here I go to uh, call it my Grafana. And then what I want to install using helm is the uh, stable slash Grafana, uh, which will install all the Grafana components. This includes the uh, pods, the uh, different services, the uh, per, uh, the components that manages the airbag, that manages yeah, the rule access control and so on but here I want to add some other configurations for this deployment so for example I want to uh, configure again the uh, service uh, dot type which is available here service dot type so instead of using the uh, cluster IP, which is the default value, here I want to use the load balancer. So to do that, I say here dash dash set in order to change a default configuration. The name of my configuration, which is service dot type equal, then I put the uh, new type, which is load balancer. I want also to disable airbag. So here I go to look for airbag and airbag create this is the value i want to change so i would say i don't want to enable airbag for this uh, for the demo purposes but if you run this in production it's better of course it's recommended and it's the best practice to uh, enable airbag always again dash dash set then the name of the configuration or of the variable actually and here i say false airbag create equal false now we are ready and we can run this this is now running and Helm is contacting my Kubernetes cluster. It's sending all those uh, uh, Kubernetes uh, deployment objects. And here it finishes sec successfully running those uh, uh, commands. And here we see the different resources that were created. So first of all, I did create a config map. This uh, have two config maps created for this purpose. Then it have created a pod called my Grafana. Then concatenated with this number it created the role role binding and the secret and the service that uses the load balancer in order to uh, expose a public ip address and you see here it's pending the external ip or the public ip is uh, uh, pending uh, the creation service account it also created the port security policy the deployment and so on and at the end here it shows us some notes for how we can access the uh, Grafana dashboard because we need here uh, to get access. So for that here, it have a pre-created account which uses the admin as a username and it have a password and here it gives us the instructions for how to retrieve that uh, password. So let's copy this line of code in order to retrieve the password for the Grafana dashboard. Let's run that. So here how to retrieve that is that it will retrieve the secret for the default namespace for my which is called my Grafana and then it will echo the uh, JSON path for the admin uh, password. Then it will decode it because it's decoded using base64. And then this is the password for the uh, Grafana dashboard. But let's first get access to the Grafana uh, dashboard. Let's open the URL or the public IP for that dashboard. For that, I'll go to say uh, kubectl kubectl get svc or get services and this will return the list of all the services available on my cluster. And here I have the service for my Grafana which uses the load balancer. And here I have the public or the external IP for that service. I'll go to copy this one and then I'll open it in a new window. And then here it asks me for an e my email and my password. 
So as we said here, the email that we'll be using, actually we won't be using email, but we will be using the admin account. So we'll copy this uh, for admin account and we'll use the uh, password that we retrieved it from here. Copy it and then I'll paste it in the password. Click login. And here I get access to the Grafana dashboard where here it shows me the different uh, steps that I need to go through in order to create a new dashboard. So first of all here it tells me that we have already installed Grafana, the install was successful and now the second step is to add a data source because those dashboards will need to get the source for the data to be represented. So I'll go to click add data source and from here we have the different data sources supported by Grafana. Grafana could get the metrics from a Prometheus server, but not only that, it can also get those metrics from Azure Monitor, from CloudWatch, from AWS, from Elasticsearch, from a SQL Server, PostGres, and lots of other sources are available right here. In my demo today, I want to get the metrics from my Prometheus cluster. For that, I'll go to select Prometheus, and here we see the data source was added and now I need to configure Prometheus or to configure Grafana to tell it where is my Prometheus server. For that, here I need to give it the URL for my Prometheus server. So what I can do here is that I have two options. Either I give it the public URL for my Prometheus server, if it's available publicly, or the second, which is a better option, is to give it the service name for Prometheus, for my Prometheus server. Because both Grafana and Prometheus lives inside my Kubernetes uh, cluster, so using the Kubernetes uh, DNS uh, uh, names, they ca uh, Grafana could retrieve and communicate with uh, Prometheus. So I don't need to uh, worry about the public uh, IP addresses, which might uh, change in the future. So for that, I'll go to look or to retrieve my uh, Prometheus uh, service name. For that, I'll go back to the command line. And here I'll use the command cube cattle get svc. And from here, if I go to my Prometheus server load balancer, so my service or the name of this service is actually my Prometheus service itself. So I'll copy that service name, then I'll paste it here. Of course, this should use HTTP. Then the name of my Prometheus uh, service. Note that we have some other configurations that you can configure. For example, the scrape interval to say you can scrape each 15 seconds, for example, the timeout and the HTTP method and so on. This is the basic configuration I need to go through. So now I'll click save and test. And if you have this green message, this tells you that Grafana successfully connected to the Prometheus uh, server. Now let's go to create the dashboard. So here I'll go to dashboards, then go to manage. And for creating the dashboard, we have actually uh, two options available. Either we can create ourselves a dashboard from scratch or we can import a dashboard and Grafana have like a store where we have uh, or a marketplace where we have uh, different dashboards created either by the Grafana uh, development team or by the community. This is available on the grafana.com slash grafana slash dashboards where here you can see the different uh, dashboards that you can import or you can reuse in your, uh, uh, in your application. So now if we go back to uh, Grafana dashboards right here, I'll go to select import. With import here, we need to give it the, uh, uh, the URL or the ID for the dashboard that we have chosen. I have already picked one uh, which have the ID 1621. Note here that we can also paste the JSON, uh, which is like the source code for the dashboard for the Grafana uh, dashboard. So I'll use this 1621 uh, as the ID for my dashboard, import it, and from here I can configure the um, 
some additional configurations for the Prometheus. So here, if I want to have support for Prometheus 1.5, I can select that, or in my case, I don't need so because I'm using the latest version of uh, Prometheus. Then I click import, and in a few seconds, we'll be able to see here the Grafana dashboard that shows me that connects to Prometheus server, scrapes the metrics, and show this metrics in a really really nice and nifty uh, dashboards available here so you can see here for example we have the network uh, io pressure we have also the memory cpu and file system utilization and you can have those uh, metrics available uh, from you are available for your pods for your application for your nodes and so on so here we have the different pods installed in my cluster and I can see the CPU utilization for each one of those uh, pods. Not also that I have the pod memory users, I have the pods networks and so on. We can share with those uh, dashboards with the members of our development team so that they can uh, always view those information and get really useful insights about the health of their application and uh, about the health of the cluster itself. So this dashboard shows the, um, the standard metrics coming from uh, Prometheus cluster. But remember, in our application, we have already created a custom metric, which is called the um, counter or my counter. And now I want to visualize this counter, which, count, which uh, counts the number of views for my index page. So uh, Grafana dashboards are extensible, so I can add other uh, views to this uh, dashboard. The way to do that here is through the uh, Add Panel option, and from here I choose to add a new uh, visualization. So if I click on that here, I get this um, uh, uh, this configuration where here I can choose the type for the visualization, either it's a graph, a gauge, table, and so on. For my sample here, I choose a graph. Then I'll move to the next configuration to show I what what. I want to represent on that graph. Is it lines, bars, and so on? I'm happy to add lines. Then we need to, uh, we might have some uh, additional uh, uh, general configuration. We can also configure the alerts. But let's go back to the first option, which is the queries, where here we can, uh, we need to retrieve the metric that we want to represent or we want to view. So here we can see the different metrics within using their names. So if I type, if I start by typing here, we can see the different metrics available from a Prometheus. And here I can type the name of my metric, which is my counter. And here immediately I see that metric available right here. I select that metric. And in a few seconds, I'll be able to see the graph showing right here. Note here that it refreshes every uh, 10 seconds. So it will get the new values every, each, uh, every 10 seconds. Now I'm happy with this dashboard. So if I click back, I'll see that this view were added automatically to my dashboard. And now I can uh, repl I, I can put it whatever wherever I want in my uh, in my dashboard. I can resize it and so on. This one shows shows me now how many or how uh, many times the index page were uh, visited by my users. Here it shows me it was visited 92 uh, times. If I go back to slash metrics, if I refresh the this page right here, then my counter shows me 92. That value is now uh, scraped by Prometheus server. It saves that value uh, locally in its database. Then Grafana will plug into the Prometheus server's database, we'll get that data and represent it in a nice NFT uh, dashboards. I hope you liked this video. If you want to take a look at this application source code, remember it's available on the GitHub uh, repository. And I hope to see you in next videos. So see you. Bye-bye.